Welcome back, everyone. We have gone down a couple flights, and as you can see here, I leveled up carpentry a little bit so that we could uh, build some necessary items. Um, oh, this is not the final floor yet. Oh, I was on the ground floor. I'm not. But uh, we're going to head out. And like I said, we're going to... Um, actually, why don't we... We need a gas can, right? Let's see if we can find one in the storage lockers, maybe? Fuck, that was a zombie right there. I need to get out of here. Miss, do you want to move? That's why I needed to get out of there. Oh boy! We need a gas can anyway, is what I'm trying to say. Before we got so rudely interrupted. Okay. Um. Alright, put away the beta blockers that I had, because I'm an idiot. Alright, come on you lot, let's go. Get over your fear. Anyway, today, while killing zombies, we're going to be heading back, hopefully with this van. Uh, wait, if we can find some fuel, a gas tank, that kind of stuff. Um, we'll be heading back to the previous place we were at that had some weapons and supplies in it. We'll be grabbing those and bringing them back here to our house, hopefully. We're gonna run. So we're just gonna jump on over. Safety. So yeah, because there are, there were some things that we want to pick up. Uh, we're gonna need the garbage bags and stuff that we had in order to create a rain collector up top side, so that way we can have infinite water happening. Um, we need to get. A pipe wrench, however, for that, so we need to check and see if we have one of those in that place. If we do not, we then need to try and liberate one from a area nearby. Um, hopefully we can find one pretty easily, but we'll see. <gasps> Come on, splatter them! Splatter their brains! Let's go! There we go. And I sprayed their asses everywhere. Medical pants. Okay. That took care of all of those zombies. Now, I know we did not have a gas can in the van. So we were going to before we so rudely interrupted back here. And I'm exhausted, which is lovely. We were going to take a look and see if we could find a gas can. Because if we can, then we can try to siphon some fuel out. We also need to fortify the bottom of this place so the zombies can't just come in from whichever angle they want. We need to have some sort of, you know, method of the madness here. Nothing. Fertilizer in there. Oh. No thanks. Hey buddy, you wanna just fall over, please? Just about to finish him off at this point. There should be a horde just to the south, doesn't there? Like, or something is down there. Oh, she's not going to go through the window like a, a normal zombie would, huh? We're starting to get pain again. Let's take more pills. Luckily, one of our injuries healed up, so I was able to remove the bandages off of that one. Man, 
I always get like all of them down at the same time, right as one decides to stand back up. Oh. Okay. Nothing. Just take a seat. Now I'm getting tired. Great. Luckily, we're spoiled for choice when it comes to beds upstairs, so... Where are you fucking zombies coming from? Huh? Did you own this place, do you? You can just come to my house? Another one, huh? I'm gonna run upstairs. Now we're gonna go into here, over here, back through here, over to here. We're just gonna sleep real quick. Even though there's zombies that are like right downstairs, I think that's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't don't even think about it. All right, more painkillers. Time to get addicted. Rock. We were getting exhausted and stuff too, so it's a probably a good, uh, good thing that we had to stop and rest there for a moment. Hello. I'm gonna just yell to lure him in. No, stop their heads, please! Well, I don't have any other weapon with me right now. So, uh, that's not ideal. All I have is a fucking hammer. I was expecting it to last a little bit longer. <laughs> Headshot! Of course. Of course that happened right then. I got that fucker in the head, though, didn't I? Hilarious. Okay. Mm. There's too many. Nothing I can do but this at the moment. Use moi while I walk over here. Do you happen to have anything in the trunk here that I can use as a weapon? <laughs> I can use this garden hoe. Fuck me. That might work for like one attack here. Ah yes, two. Unfortunately, he didn't seem to have anything on his person. All right. Equip our hammer, and we're gonna fucking break this window. Unlock the trunk. Check the glove box. Nothing I need. Please have a gas can. You do not. Why would you? You know what? Give me this duct tape, actually. You can have this hoe. I don't give a shit about that hoe. Unlock the trunk. Nothing in the glove box. No gas. Hands, anyway. Where did I drop my spiked baseball bat at? Was it on the other side of the wall? I don't remember. Fuck, I'm hit with fatigue now. That's what I get for exercising. Oh, 
go. So let's, let's hide that window for a second here. What was in the rear of this van again? More duct tape? I can use that to actually repair the spiked baseball bat if I can fucking figure out where I dropped it at. Let's see. There are more vehicles around here. What's this on the ground, though? All right, the pistol. The M9. I need to pop more pills. All right. Mash the window. Of stuff in here. I'll take the duct tape. I'll take the bandage. Pop the trunk. You're killing me here. Alright. Another zombie's down there. God dang. God dang, another horde right there. Get in. Unlock the trunk. Check the glove box or a pistol we're not going to use. I'll take the, the ammunition, though. None of you have a gas can in your car. None of you. Well, that horde's coming to see me, isn't it? They do. Okay. However, I can't deal with them right now because I do not have a weapon capable of fighting them. We need to skedaddle. Try and find our bat that we dropped because I'm an idiot. I'm like, oh, well, it's broken. I might as well drop it. There it is. Come to Papa. Okay. More duct tape. Let's go. Got it. It's not ideal, but uh, it has been repaired a little bit. Is that in both hands? I, I need to double check. It was not. It just did primary, huh? Okay. So we have a gas can now. Now we just have to siphon some gasoline. Then we can get the van running. Because otherwise it's in good condition. So, Spiffo t-shirt. I didn't expect it to be out in the open this long, so... Wait, can I keep repairing it? I have some duct tape left. I can. It's not going to do much, but seven conditions better than no condition. Right, all out. Do I have any more duct tape here? Yeah. The problem is... Problems with that horde there. I'm not going to be able to do much. Okay, well, of course. Get off me. Wrong button. Uh, where was the issue at? There it is. Bitten, bleeding, laceration. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's go to the fence. Painkillers while we're at it. I wish I saw my beta blockers. That'd be great. With all the pills I'm popping, you'd think that I wouldn't be as hungry as I am. But apparently I am, so that's great. You guys still following me? Yeah. Fuck, there's a horde there. Not what I wanted to see.
Is my pain not going down? Doesn't look like it is. I was in agony before, so I guess it is a little bit. A little bit surely. I'd like to go down a little bit further. Might be the best that we can hope for right now. so I can't do much. Okay. I'm just gonna leave. Oh, actually. Oh, no, because that, of course, just I'm panicked now, so... Yep, I'm just gonna... Meow. Oh, fuck. Exit, stage left. Well, we cleared the apartments, but, uh... Oh, my pain's finally gone, but we're just fucking spooked to all hell. Come here, you. Let's try and at least handle these three. Stop being fucking scared, my guy. Get them run. Meow. Watch another horde be like right out here. Yep. <laughs> It's okay. We're just gonna walk away. You know what? Why don't we enjoy a little Siggy while we're uh, while we're walking? Why not? Puff puff puff, baby. We're gonna have some pills, some delicious delicious painkillers that we've been sustained off of for a while now. This house. Close the door behind us. Walk over here. Eat that beef jerky, please. Yep. And now we're gonna exit. Come back. More zombies are approaching. There's zombies in all those houses, so I can't really just sneak through the house to avoid the sword. Maybe I can sneak through the last one. Of course, it's locked. That's how that goes. going. Just keep going. Don't worry about them. Alright. I'm gonna kill these two, I think. I'm gonna try to anyway. Come on, that was a hit. Jackass. Alright. Let's keep going. I don't know where I'm at on the map, and there is a horde right there, and I'm gonna just cross the street. Check map real quick. We are here. Okay. We gotta go down this street, and we'll find my, uh, ID home. Which is right there. Remember the entrances in the back. 
Honestly, yeah, I think it might have been a better idea to come back here without the tr the van. Because if we would have... Shit. Kill them, please. Keep hitting them in the fucking head. Come on. Where's my damage coming going? My God. Okay, I'm just gonna close this fucking window for a second here. Ugh. Sit down. Pop more pills right now. Well, this place has been definitely compromised. Keep beta blockers. I can need those. Get them a while ago, to be honest. Another key. I'm just getting a bunch of keys here. I don't even know where the fuck they're going to. Please don't tell me that was the front door. Or a window. Okay, so far it seems like we're okay. I'm gonna start grabbing stuff and putting it in my bag. Things that we'll need, like food. Get about those. I'm going to grab the sledgehammer. messed up which ones were where. That's fine. I don't worry about it. Oh, they're knocking on that. Okay. I wonder where the hell they were knocking on. Alright, so we're just going to grab the things that we need to grab and then get the hell out of here, hopefully, pretty quick. That'll be the plan, at least. I think I stored stuff in the back area here. Um, yeah, my deagle and shit. I'm gonna drop these. Um, I'm gonna be a little overweight here, but that's just kinda gonna be how things go, I guess. Or garbage bags. Do I have a I do not. Okay, I'm gonna grab the... I was gonna grab the machete, but maybe not. Okay. Disinfect the cologne. Put a bandage on. I'm just gonna do my, uh, my stuff for you real quick. Little water bottle. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna drop these rags. I do not care about them. Um, what all am I carrying right now that I do not necessarily need? A lot of the dried food and stuff I don't really need. Um, what stuff do I need? I suppose I would like to have the machete because it's a really good weapon. Um, the axe would also be really great to have and keep. 
So... Maybe I get rid of the canned food for right now. Grab the axe. Um, can I put the machete in here? No, but I'll put it in there. Um, so we can have his vitamins. Don't care. Not any of those. Already checked that little place. Okay, come on. Someone has a pipe wrench, right? Right. Baseball bat. How's my spiked one holding out? It is pretty low. That one's also pretty low, so it doesn't matter. I do want this crowbar, though. Mm. How's that fire axe look? We're gonna go. There it is. Uh, pretty shit condition. This one is much better. We're gonna take that instead. They're about the same weight, I think. Oh, so, perfect. This one equipped in both hands. Like baseball bat, we'll just put back in here. Okay, um, not the painkillers. Can the machete fit in the backpack now? It cannot. How much does the machete weigh? Two pounds. How much do I got in here? That's okay. Great. Just eat these fucking chips. See if I can get, uh, there we go. The machete should fit in there now. Perfect. Okay, we're just under our uh, ability here now. Thanks to the food, we're there. We still desperately need that pipe, though. Or the pipe wrench, I should say. Oh, don't get jump scared by that, you fucking weirdo. Gotta remove the broken glass here first. Then we'll go ahead and climb through it. There we go. Push him over. God, thanks, old man. All right. I need cars around here. Not that I can see. All right, well. And down this way. Still no cars. I'm going to jump this fence, and hopefully there's nothing bad on the other side. Yay! Okay, nothing bad. Hopefully there's some cars back here, though. That'd be nice. I'm just going to try to stay low and creep around like a weirdo. None of them are coming towards me, right? Yeah. I am fine. I am stealthy. I am perfect. I am great. I have nothing to worry about. We're going to go home, and we will be fine. Nothing bad will happen to me. Just positive reinforcements, you know? We're just going to get across this road. Is this the... Don't check the fucking map now. Yeah, that's the one I do not want to go to. Uh-oh. They see me. We am in here. That's what we'll do. I'm gonna sit in the ground for a second. Now we're gonna get up. <gasps> Woo, just in time. I wanted to rest a little bit. I'm just going to walk away from them for right now uh, to hopefully get the moderate uh, exertion down. Nope. Missed me. Gonna have to run past this one, though. Oh, there we go. Put a little distance between us. Report right there. This is not okay. I think I have to go another block down. Fuck. If I go into the place now, I'm just, I'm screwed. I 
I'm gonna have to lure them out, then lure them away. But again, I don't know where I'm at. Look at all of them over there. I'm gonna lure them back up here. This is not mine. Mine is the further south, if I remember correctly. No fucking pills. Take some uh, beta blockers too while we're at it. Oh, look behind me. There we go. If I had another Maltov. That'd be perfect use for right now. Just toss it back there. Come on, you lot. Come on. Back this way. I'm not going to be able to siphon fuel from anything at the moment. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you know. Come to Papa. My uh, exertion is not going down. I think I need to actually sit and rest instead of walking. this house unlocked. It's not. I was going to use the house to try and get them to get broken. Nope, there's more zombies up there. Yeah, I can use this, though. I think I lost some of them anyway. Let's jump over this. Now I can sit down, take a load off for a little bit. How fucking tired am I? Jesus Christ. Let's smoke one. Smoke them if you got them, as they say. Okay. I think I'm confidently lost that group that was following me, that huge horde. Let's check the map. Right now I'm over here. I need to get back down there. A hey, firm. Up this bad boy. And I'm already exerted again. Okay, I might as well run away then. Running away we go. Can I get into the middle of this area? Is this gate unlocked? It's not. Can I climb the roof? I can. I'm actually surprised that didn't hurt me. But, uh, managed to climb it. No problem. Okay. Um... Going this way, then. How far is it? I'll be right there. Don't think he saw me, though. Okay. I'm going to sit down again. No, I'm not. Those guys are still there. How am I being so stealthy? That door's locked. Great. I could crowbar it open, but. Unfortunately, I'd have to spend the time to do that. Fuck. Those look like they're open. I'm just gonna walk on out of here. Be a little bit quicker than that. Okay. Looks like relative safety to me. All right, let's deal with this prick. Come on. Ugh. My finger got like weird like, kind of middle mouse click instead of like normal mouse click or something. 
Come on, just get on the ground with that lady so I can beat you both up. Damn it. Here we go. Uh. Okay. We managed to somehow ditch the hordes that were following us. Let's try to get back to our lovely place here, which is just up the road, luckily. In fact, why don't I just fucking sit down for a second? Okay. No longer exerted. I don't plan on running a whole lot, so we'll, let's just walk. And uh, I'm going to search the library down here for a carpentry two book. Because if we can get a carpentry two book, we can speed up our carpentry leveling uh, to the point where we can make a rain collector up top, which is what we need to do. Kill some zombies in here, but I think I can deal with them. Carpenter 2, got it. That's all I need right now. We're just gonna walk away. And we're gonna move to secure this floor once again. After I take some painkillers. Okay. That's fine. Probably gonna need a couple more over here. Yep. You know what, I'm gonna take these beta blockers too. And let's just do what we can. painful. I, I do not know what ended up causing me to get, like, overwhelmed by them like that. Like, was it the fact that I was overburdened? That didn't seem to, like, ever cause too many issues like that, but who knows? <sighs> After clearing out the whole place, and that's the way we die. Well, new character time. Louisville, Kentucky. Survival kit. I think I don't really need... I think thick skin had really helped us out here a lot. But, uh... Light eater, so I don't have to eat a bunch. That's good. Slow healer's kind of fucking this up. Is there anything I can, like, get rid of for that? I can get rid of Cat's Eye and, like, Lucky, but I like Lucky. Uh, we'll keep this. Screw it. All right. Randomized. We're going to be Brendan Shearer. Let's go. Okay. So here, how, uh, here is how the lore of this character is going to go, okay? This character has been kind of holed up in his uh, house while things have been going to shit, right? He's heard that his friend, our previous character, 
through like a walkie talkie or something, or just like, hey, this is gonna be my zombie plan. I'm gonna go to this place, yada, yada, right? He figured out that he was gonna go secure the hospital. And our guy, well, he's running a little low on resources. He's getting stir crazy. You know, there's there's a bunch of stuff that he needs to, you know, do and get. So he's finally going to venture out and try to join up with his friend who is now dead. That's going to be this guy's sort of scenario, right? And we found a pipe wrench, the thing our guy was missing, our other guy, unfortunately, who has now passed away. Also, since the water shut off, our guy has no more renewable sources of, um, you know, water, so he has to leave. This is his story now. This is what he has to do to survive. He's gonna arm himself with his guitar. He's gonna put his satchel on his back. And he's gonna continue looting the rest of his house just to make sure that there's nothing else he can grab to take with him. He's gonna take his first aid book. Um, anything else that I want to grab here? I don't think I really need anything else. I mean, maybe I'll grab Forage and Three. He has a couple more guitars. How's this guitar in terms of durability? Perfect, okay. I'm gonna take this guitar and somehow stuff it into this duffel bag. But, uh... Anything to help the war effort. A shell suit jacket? Okay. He's gonna take his hammer and attach it here. We do have this lovely rifle, but our guy's not too good with shooting, as you can expect here. So what our guy's gonna do, he's gonna go ahead and read this first aid book in preparation for leaving his house. Good old name, Brendan Shearer. He knows that if he does not have some sort of first aid knowledge, he's probably not going to last long in the event something bad starts to happen. So he is going to take this first aid kit, or not first aid kit, this first aid book, and read it. Start to finish. Taking so long because he's a slow reader, he doesn't read much, but, you know, he kind of has to at this point. We're gonna go ahead and drop that down now. After reading the book, he got a little parched, so he's decided he's gonna go back down, try to suck some water out of the pipes that are left down here, and uh, eat a little bit of food, because his tummy is now a little bit rumbly. So, he's gonna eat some cheese, he's gonna eat a pear. The pear gives a little bit of water back. Not enough for him, no. He needs to find some sort of bottle to put water in, perhaps. The only thing you can really find is this pop can, which he's going to have to drink. Because, well, it's all he has. Hmm. Oh, they don't have any water bottles here, huh? What about this bookshelf? Does he have anything down here? Angler, yada yada. Okay. Our guy has got himself prepared mentally and as physically prepared as he can be. And he is going to grave the wilderness right before consulting with his map to figure out where the hell he is at. Right. We're in an okay location. So he's going to go across the street because he believes in those uh, retail locations there might be something that can help him out. And so he's going to crouch down. He's going to try to avoid the zombies. While he goes over to his neighbor's truck. Sets off the alarm. Because he's an idiot. And doesn't know how to open shit. He's going to take some duct tape and he's going to run. He's going to run and sprint right now. He sees a funeral home and knows there's nothing there that he needs. He's going to try to run across to the tool store. Yes, if he can get in the tool store, perhaps he can find some things that will 
aid him in his survival. Like tools, for example. Perhaps he can wear this uh, helmet. He found a metal bar, which is a little bit worse than his other thing here. But he's not going to take it. He's just going to keep searching for things. He already has a pipe wrench, he knows. But he does think a box of nails could come in handy. He's going to remove stuff over to his satchel. He's going to take a trowel, because that could also be useful. He's going to open up his map. And he's going to take a pipe wrench icon. If he had a pencil, he would anyway. He forgot that he left one at home without taking it. Because he was a little bit panicked and rushed for time. He did not have enough wherewithal to decide to take that. But no matter. He's going to prepare himself by taking all the nails and stuff that he can find. Because he knows that his friend might be out there in need of some of this equipment. So he's going to grab what he can. But when he gets there and joins his friend, he can be like, Friend, look what I brought you! Again, not knowing that his friend is dead. A pickaxe, huh? Scythe, pipe wrench, crowbar. Now, I might equip the crowbar. Put down the guitar. nails. What does this do? Less attack speed, climb trip chance, less speed in general. Hmm. I don't think that's why I died. Okay. The guy still does not have anything to put huh. food into. I put water into, I mean. His first kill. He knows that it will be the first of unfortunately many. He's taking clothing from the dead because he knows that he has to prepare himself and keep himself as covered as possible to avoid getting munched on by the zombie hordes. It is the only thing he can do now to attempt to survive. He's going to finish checking in on the back of the store to see if maybe they have anything of use, like a lighter or his smoking habit. Unfortunately, he has no cigarettes, which is, you know, a bad thing for a smoker to not have. Okay. He prepares himself by, I was going to say ripping that up, but, um, he can't really rip it up since there's nothing there. I'm just going to put everything I can into the backpack here. Okay. He's going to consult his map again. All right. Now, he can place down a pipe wrench there to signify this place has tools. If he ever needs them in the future, he can come back. However, he must continue on. He needs to get stronger. Stronger to help his friend. He's decided to put on some jeans because his shorts might not provide enough protection, he thinks. And his legs were also getting a little cold. decides to check the vehicles next to him to see if they have any inside that he could use. Cigarettes. He has found them. All hail the mighty cigarette. He unlocks the trunk. I don't know why I'm narrating this. It just seems fun to me. He has found a first aid kit that he will gratefully take. Because 
who knows what else he'll need to do in the future with that. But he could really use a drink of water. Got some more bandages, that's nice. Could really use a bottle of water or something. A bottle of wine even, so I can drink the wine and then take the, uh, the jack. I haven't seen one of those yet, but actually, yeah, there's probably a bunch at the other uh, place, so we're going to keep going. 11 on our stats as best we can. Hey, lady! Oops. Uh, I mean, hey, lady. Hey, 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 lady. He struggles as he takes down his second, third zombie. I forgot what I went on, but he killed another. He's a natural born killer, he says. As he approaches this black car, hoping that maybe it's unlocked and has a key inside of it, so he can take it along with him. But it is not, alas. So he breaks the fucking window in rage. He gets in the car. Rummages through the glove box and sees a revolver inside. But he leaves it because he doesn't know how to shoot. He doesn't want to make a lot of noise yet. So he opens the trunk and find jack shit inside. He consults his map to check where he's at again. He knows he must go a few more blocks south. So he decides, now is the time. Just get up and run! He runs for his life, knowing very well that if he trips, it could mean the end of his life. He passes by the little park thing that he maybe used to play at, or at least eat his lunch at or something, I don't fucking know. He runs past a zombie, but turns, determined to fight. Smashes them in the face with the crowbar a couple of times. And it falls. Our guy's victorious. He continues onward, ever vigilant for what might be awaiting around the corner. And he dips inside this building, which he believes is a uh, gym of some sort. All right, turn this on. No. He sees another zombie. But he knows he must get into that cafeteria to get some water, or else he was going to die of thirst very soon. So he bludgeons the zombie to death. As another one falls behind him, another one comes out in front of him. He does what he can. He smashes smashes. Ah, he has been bitten, or at least scratched. He knows not, as he used to deal with these fucking zombies in front of him first before he can do anything else. But he walks away. Puts on a band band. Little bandy. Help himself out there. Smashes the zombie in the face to kill it. Hits the next one in the face. Hits him in the jaw. Bashes his skull in. The next one comes. He's ready. He's doing what he can. Pushes one to the ground and smashes its skull as he takes the next one and cleaves the cross with the crowbar. Oh, another one bites the dust. He looks around and sees one more. He can do it. He has faith in himself. Slowly, as his kill count rises, he feels more confident with himself. Finds a watch. Decides to put it on so he knows the time. It's not digital, so he can't do much else with it. But he knows, for now, is all that is important. Finds another key, takes it. He doesn't know what they're for. Not yet, anyway. But at some point, it might just save his life, being able to open something. Without yada yada yada, and uh, we're kind of having issues right now. Uh, a drop, drop, drop it? There we go. Okay. A little bit tired from his run-in with the uh, zombies, he tries to make his way to the kitchen, but finds one more trying to get into the ladies' room, even though it's a man. What a perverted zombie. He takes their key ring and adds the key to his own. A collection of jinglies is accumulating in his pockets. He continues into the cafeteria, looks around for anything useful, hopefully some food that he could eat. Or some 
pickles he can shove into his mouth, because why the fuck not? Anything he can drink, though? Not really. No, not even any ice cream. I want, like, water bottles. Y'all got any fucking water bottles in here? Gravy mix? Nah, man. Give me some fucking water bottles, bro. Can, can I pour out the bleach? Pour on the ground. Empty bottle. Okay, I think I can use that to, uh... Yes. Kids, do not try this at home. Do not empty out a bottle of bleach, fill it with water, and then drink from that bottle. Okay? Don't do that. I'm gonna place that first aid kit down and just take the medical supplies from it. There we go. That's a very bad idea, and you should not do it, okay? Let me be very clear. Do not do that, because you will die. All right? I am playing around. I'm gonna drop this guitar, I don't need it. There we go. Now we're at an okay weight limit here. We should probably take a smoke. I know I need one. Ah, Brendan takes a puff of a cigarette to calm himself down. The intensity of the last couple of hours have really gotten to him. Now that he's able to, he cleans his wound and fixes his boo-boo with another band-aid to prepare himself for what's to come. He decides to exit this place after making note on the map that it is indeed also a gem so he puts down a fucking cool symbol right next to it and begins making his way out even though there's no water in here i'm going to use that symbol so I hope y'all want to just deal with that Brendan continues making his way down the street, across the place, hither and thither, to and fro, running around like a madman. Not quite sure where to go. He just knows that he must try to get to the hospital to attempt to reunite with his friend. However, a bunch of zombies are around this bend. He waits, plotting, considering. He knows one of them has a backpack and wants to get that for himself. With a mighty strike, he bashes them down and takes their shit. Day and night, baby! Give me your fucking backpack, motherfucker. Go. Come on out. You fuck. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Can I? Can I just stop for a second and like say that? Why does this guy seem stronger than my other guy? I'm like bashing people's brains in all day, every day, on the regular. Got a pencil in there, huh? Fine. Man, getting our sneak and stuff back up is gonna suck. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at this van. Is it open? Out of the back. Was that a. Yeah, it was that opening. Okay. Take a look at the map. We just gotta go down further. Ugh, okay. Probably best to go south now, rather than later. Ooh, a panel truck. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck, I'm exhausted. That guy's been just running across the city all day. He knows what he must do. 
must be careful and quiet. Stealthy. Even though his stealth is quite bad because he drew those zombies from across the fucking street! He's gonna sit on the ground and wait for them. He's just gonna chill. And just like that, his exertion is fixed! Although, his health is not now. So he's gonna get up and walk away as he puts bandages on his fucking wounds again. Uh, uh. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Why did I leave my house? I don't know. Yeah, well, let's go canonize something real quick. He runs. Far, far away. Where, where, where am I at? Hold on real quick. I need to check something. Right there. Okay. He decides to run through the American Tire. Because he needs to lose the zombies that are following him as he is a little bit injured at the moment. On the ground, he spots a baseball bat. He decides to take it with him, as it could come in handy later. He decides to dip out the back. runs into the You Store It building across the street. He sees some glass around a window and decides to remove it. And then climb through. Carefully, he creeps on the hall. He looks for a specific storage unit. One that belonged to a friend of his. He's a zombie. And decks him over the head! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking die, you piece of shit. You're not dying. <sighs> His friend had a storage unit in which he would use to... Hide from people. What the fuck is it at? Here it is. He would come into it and sometimes sleep for days at a time if he got in with the wrong crowd of tax collectors and shit. Do I have any uh, painkillers or anything like that? I have sleeping tablets. Hell yeah. Brendan pops some sleeping tablets to dull the pain, and he sleeps in the cot that his friend once used long ago. Before that outbreak happened, he passes the time and waits. Slowly but surely, he wakes up in the wee hours of the night, knowing that he must continue. He cannot stay here forever. There is no food, no water. He must continue onward. He opens his map and looks and consults. He is closer now than he was before. Hopefully he can meet up with his friend and they can restore some sort of normality to this world. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up here for this episode. It is unfortunate that our guy, who was skilled in so many ways of killing, died. Again, I do not know how exactly I managed to succumb to that death the way that I did. It was unfortunate. Very unfortunate, and I do not like how that happened. I am quite saddened by the loss of... What's his name? I completely forgot what it was. I'm going to be completely honest. I do not remember what our previous guy's name was. Um, yeah. But, we're now Brendan, so you know what? That's just fine with us, I think. We will, uh, you know, continue on with him. And since his, you know, canon is that he 
was friends with our previous guy and the previous guy was like yeah man there's a zombie apocalypse i'm gonna fucking go to the medical hospital i'm just gonna fucking take it over bro i'm gonna lock that shit down so he has some semblance of where he's going so he's trying to make his way down there and he'll see uh you know the stuff We'll, we'll see how the story goes when we get down there right okay until then though i'll catch you all next time bye bye